For so long, they were our ark. Now, we must be theirs. So I take down the children's old ark, paint-chipped and dusty, its animals lost or strewn in a jumbled heap. I paint the belly of the ark gold, because for so long they were our ark, and now we must be theirs. So I make space for the species in the cabin, space for the native black willow dying on the shores of the Kentucky River, space for the river itself. I colour the hull of the boat sky blue to repair the cloak of our atmosphere. Because if the sky isn't our ark, I don't know what is. I paint the waves of our rising seas and work in cold greens and greys to cool the oceans. I use alkali to balance their acid and leave out the pollutants and plastics, the fish hooks and net. And I call to the birds that it's safe to nest on this roof, the threatened swallows, the last storks, the precious owls. From their hutches, I release the factory farmed hens, the industrialized ducks, and the Christmas turkeys. Of all the creatures on the globe, only 4% are free. The rest we keep for our own purposes. So I give the caged space in my ark and set loose their souls. Then I gather up the wooden animals my children played with years ago before they left for the city. I hold the creatures gently while I paint their limbs and I say to them, for so long you are our ark, now we must be yours, the lion, the crocodile, the elephants, the giraffes. Two by two, I give them back their names and their dignity. I return them to the wild. <laughs>